Dr. Greer, welcome back. Thank you. Love being with you. So we just we just saw each other again in D.C. Mm -hmm. at the conference that you held in the National Press Club event, which was incredible. I can't wait to get into that on the interview. But you've been on the cusp, actually not on the cusp, over the cusp. You've been, you are just full of information that puts you at a major risk with different entities. Right. And on top of that, you're also a major public figure. You have millions of people that want to hear what you have to say. And we've talked back and forth online quite a bit about personal protection. Mm -hmm. And and I actually owe you a couple of friends of mine's contacts um, mm -hmm. um, for personal protection and, and, um, and protection for some of the events that you're going to be running. And I will get those to you uh, at the end of the at the end of the interview. But um, we've also I mean, just seeing what was going on and the information that you're putting out at, at the last event in mm -hmm. Washington, just what, last week, two weeks ago? Yeah. Um, I'm beginning to realize the need for it even more than I already had. And the last time you were here, we put a, we put a special ops guy who took out the number three terrorist in the world uh, in your hotel uh, to sit, sit with you just in case. And... W what I want to talk to you now about is your own personal personal protection. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you what do you have at home? What are you carrying on you when you mm -hmm. go, you know, to the late night grocery store run or just getting out right. to get gasoline or the things that we do every single day where you don't have somebody with you sitting on you, you know, because you have a lot of I mean, you just have a lot of exposure. And you're putting out information mm -hmm. that pisses people off. You're putting yeah. out information that's important that pisses certain entities and within the government off of pisses right. Lockheed, Raytheon, all these companies off. And, and so that this is something you really need to be thinking about. Are you, what do you have at home to protect yourself? Well, we've been thinking about this for a long time. And so at home I have a, you know, we have a 45 caliber hollow point semi, uh, and, uh, a rifle and a shotgun. And, um, and we've had to put up gates with cameras and s sensors and infrared and all that. But, um, you know, I don't really t worry too much about the official, these illegal ops that are going on because we have a, a group of folks who've extended protection to our entire project, including all the whistleblowers, everyone involved. Oh, really? Yes. So no one has been overtly threatened. Now, there have been things happen where it's sort of, sort of mind games intimidation, like put a couple Blackhawks over your house and shake it, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but nothing that's actually a violent incident since 1998. And the reason that was put in place is that we did have some casualties, three of them. One of your best friends was assassinated. Yeah, and I was almost killed. I have a huge scar here on my shoulder. And I was naive. I thought, well, I'm a doctor, and I'm trying to get this information. I'd already briefed the CIA director and folks like that. But, um, you know, and this my man came to me. He'd been coming to me every year since 1991 and said, do you want executive protection? I mean, like lethal force. And I said, no, 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 no. I, I, I kind of blew it off. And then these terrible things happened. Um, and I decided, okay, do it. So since then, we've had no problems uh, from that quarter. Now, the biggest problem is just the general public. I've had a knife pulled on me at a lecture. Um, there have been all kinds of strange people. But, you know, that goes with just having a lot of people know who you are. And so um, when we do a big event, we have armed security and we have tactical and we have other people who you wouldn't think but are there who are trained in martial arts. The problem is for most of the places I go, A, you can't carry, you, you know, you can't. You're lucky if you can get a permit for a gun at home in Washington, D.C. Yeah. So I'm completely naked there, unless I'm doing an event. I'm uncovered also just in day to day. But if there's an event, a, a, like a big premiere or this event, the National Press Club, you know, we have good security, and I think it's sufficient for now, though. Oh, man, you had great security. I met the mm -hmm. head guy. Yeah. And um, I was... I mean, he comes from a background very similar to mine, right. uh, just in a different branch, and right. definitely heads up guy. And, and yeah. um, actually, I might even 
I yeah. might even wind up interviewing him <laughs> on the show once I got to know him. So. Right, right. Well, the things he saw because he was backstage and back room and green room, and he's you know he he got to hear some things that I think he probably never thought he'd ever hear. I'll bet. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. So, what are you carrying on you to protect yourself without Nothing. anybody? Nothing. I usually Nothing. don't carry anything. No. Well, do you mind if I make a couple of suggestions? Yeah, please. Yeah, you're the world. You're the expert, not I, me. I think that you should get some type of a blade. Mm-hmm. You know, doesn't have to be mm-hmm. um, a big obnoxious fixed blade, mm-hmm. but I would mm-hmm. get some kind, at least um, a pocket knife. Mm-hmm. You know, something you can flip out real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Microtech makes some good ones. Um, Spider Co makes. There's a lot of there's a there's a lot of good knife mm-hmm. companies out I'll there. I'll let you choose. I I carry a Strider. Mm-hmm. which they don't make mm-hmm. anymore, but that's oh. what the agency issued back mm-hmm. in the day. And, right. and uh, it's just a mm-hmm. really high quality knife. You can still find them, some mm-hmm. new ones on. I, I have to be websites. trained in using it. Otherwise it'd be taken from me in a nanosecond <laughs> and used against me. So, uh, you know. I'm uh, not buying that doc. I'm sure you're pretty <laughs> deadly with a scaffold. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> but um, but uh, I would get something like that. I don't need to talk to you about medical, obviously, uh, considering you're an ER our doc. But a you know a tourniquet would be something, mm-hmm. especially if you've already, mm-hmm. you know, had some Bad attempts. Yeah. And um, but we talked about firearms as well, you know, at lunch. Mm-hmm. And um, I think I have something you're gonna like. I got a friend over at Sig Sauer. Are you familiar with Sig Sauer? Sure. Oh yeah. Um, they're out of New Hampshire. And uh, I got a friend over there, Jason. I told him you were coming on the show. And so he wanted me to present you with this. Oh, well, thank you. I'll let you take a peek at it. Go ahead and open it up. All right. Oh, Oh, I see. See, this is the nurses do this. (laughs) (laughs) You have to have a sense of humor. Oh, nice. So yeah. that is... That's very lightweight. Yeah, so that is very a nice. SIG P365. Great. Uh, macro, and go ahead and hold it up. Yeah. That is, so that's like the latest and greatest mm-hmm. uh, concealed carry pistol. Oh, yeah, and it has a bead. Yeah. So, yeah, we talked about a lunch. Mm-hmm. You know, you said yeah. you wanted to take a refresher course and shake right. the dust off, and so... I would highly recommend you do take a refresher course, but that is going to help you. Uh, that dot up there, mm-hmm, if you, right. you see that orange dot in there, oh yeah, sure. So that that pretty much alleviates sight sight alignment right. in, a, in a lot of errors that novices make. And yeah, so I know. once you get yeah. that thing dialed in, I think it'll really help you out. Then that ported, you see that port on the top of the on the front of the barrel there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So that disseminates the gas properly so that you'll, it will help with your muzzle flip. Right. It, oh good. It'll, it'll help with recoil. Oh good. It'd be great to get trained on it. And Thank you. The, you're welcome. And then the good thing and about that is that actually holds 18 rounds. So most guns oh, okay. that size hold about 10, maybe eight rounds. Okay. That holds 17 in the magazine and, and one in the pipe. Right. So that's, that is a, a very well-designed firearm. So I'm going to give you a business card at the end of this, and Jason Great. will be expecting your call, and I think he's great. got something very similar for that. Uh, oh, to that, what a great you. surprise! Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, my pleasure. I love it. All yeah. right, you ready to get started with the interview? I am. All right, let's Absolutely. do it. Hey, everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.